This is our cleaning facility, the room we built just for cleaning our parts in. This machine here is the parts washer. It's a high pressure, high heat pressure or parts washer that we clean, get all the grease off of the, off the uh, components first. After we take them out of the parts washer, they go to the, they go to the tumbler. If you don't know what a tumbler is, it's got ceramic beads in it. The ceramic beads help polish up the parts. And we're gonna turn it on for a minute, it's gonna be loud. What that does is it tumbles the parts around the ceramic beads and it polishes up all the parts. To my right here is the sandblaster that if we have any parts that are rusted that need to be sandblasted first, we take and get them all down, whether they have to be painted or the yellow zinc dichromate put back on them, have to sandblast them down first to make sure that they're clean. And then we have our compressor that runs all of our air hoses out there in the shop. We have our polishing machines, we have our grinders and presses to press out bearings when needed. This is Brad, he is our senior technician in the shop and also the shop supervisor. And we, he has one of the Westinghouse 50 DHP-250s dash tore down. And this is a 5 kV breaker. And as you can see, it, we, like I said in the, before, everything is tore down to the last nut and bolt. And then we take, if it's not current carrying, as part of the mechanism, they're zinc dichromated, yellow zinc dichromated. These come in rusted. We would sandblast them down and take them to get them dichromated. All the bearings are totally re-greased. Springs. Springs are zinc dichromated, but they're also baked. It's a different type of uh, baking that has to be done for the springs. This particular breaker that Brad's working on comes from a major gas company that has pipelines all the way from Texas, all the way through the Northeast. This breaker itself came from Alabama, and he is in the process of rebuilding the breaker now. Everything's been cleaned and re-zinc dichromated. And like I said, this breaker came from Alabama, so you can ship the breakers to us, we don't have to come to you.